I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection. But the next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. <laughs> Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. Oh! What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget! Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Nice shot. 
Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I fear very well Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff.
Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Cut off a finger? No way! I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. The pain's gonna be intense. Gotta find some way to reduce it.
This is fucking nuts! I can't do it! I want to save Sean, but I refuse to do this! That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What's that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? You wanna get her out? No, stand down. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. I've got to warn Ethan. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. The police. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. What are you doing here? You followed me? I'll explain later. Come on, we've got to find another way out of here. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go.
Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. Ethan! Ethan, they're coming! who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... Sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. 
Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. 
when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in the you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit. It's... It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. <laughs> 